Are you looking to get great, super pure, reverse osmosis drinking water on tap in your home cottage or cabin for your family? Are you confused about all the different systems on the market, different specifications they have, uh, trying to decide which is the best choice for you? You've seen the ones on Amazon, but you've seen other ones too. What's the best choice? Well, I'm gonna explain the differences between the systems and I'm gonna explain it to you right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. So you need to know what to look for when comparing reverse osmosis drinking water system to make the best investment for your family. So I've chosen these two systems. This one is Amazon's best-selling reverse osmosis drinking water system in both Canada and the United States. And this is our Hume Water Saver 75 reverse osmosis system. Two reverse osmosis systems that look pretty similar, and even if you look at them a little bit more closely, they look pretty similar, but believe me, they're vastly different. First, let's look at the similarities between the two systems before we look at the differences. So they both use non-proprietary filters, which is a huge plus. Any reverse osmosis systems that, that use their own proprietary filters are always extremely expensive to maintain, and you're always concerned about those filters becoming obsolete, and then you're done with that system. So that's a big plus. The other thing is they both have one year warranty. Okay, now let's talk about the differences. So first off, we'll compare capacity. The express system produces or uh, makes reverse osmosis water, if you like, at 50 gallons per day, where the Hume Water Saver 75 is 75 gallons per day. So what that means is the Hume system um, converts regular water into reverse osmosis 50% more quickly than the express system does. So winner round one is Hume Water Care. In terms of ease of installation, they both come with pretty good manuals. They both have YouTube videos that show you how to install and the installation process is pretty much the same. So round two would be a tie. In terms of completeness, they both come with installation kits. They both come with, enough, with the filters, etc. you need as part of the installation. The express system though also comes with a leak stop and it also includes an extra set of filters. So round three definitely goes to express. In terms of ease of maintenance, again, we're talking about a tie because the, the, the changing of the filters and that is pretty much the same between both of them. Yeah, the membranes are slightly different and the procedure for changing those membranes is somewhat different, but one is no easier than the other. So round four, tie again. In terms of features, they're pretty much the same. In fact, they're both five stage reverse osmosis drinking water systems. They both come with uh, RO tanks. In fact, they come with the exact same tank and they both come with faucets. Again, pretty much the same faucet between both of them. So again, round five, it's a tie. So now let's talk about performance. That's where there's a huge difference between these two systems. So the Hume uh, Water Saver 75 is a high efficiency reverse osmosis system while the Express one isn't. And what that means is the Hume system um, wastes far less water. So how these systems work is water is forced through a membrane. The good water goes through the membrane and gets stored in the tank. The, um, the, the bad water, the high mineral content water is flushed to the drain and keeps that membrane clean while the water is flowing through to the tank. So the Hume system, there's half as much water that goes to the drain while it's filling the tank as it is with the express system. So what does that mean? So to fill this tank, which is about two and a half gallons of water in this tank once it's full, the express system uses 12 gallons of water flushed to the drain while it's filling these two and a half gallons. The Hume system is half. So that's a huge difference right there. Another big difference between the two systems is how long it uh, takes to fill a uh, 14 ounce glass. So I've got a couple of videos here that, uh, that do the comparison between those two. So check those out now. We're in the test lab here at uh, the water store and we're gonna test and see how long it takes this Hume Water Saver 75 reverse osmosis system to fill this large 14 ounce glass. And I'm gonna get Cheryl to time it here when I say go. Stop. Okay, so you see it took us 6.5 seconds to fill this glass. Okay, so we're going to do the same test to uh, time, see how long it, it takes to fill the same 14 ounce glass. This time we're going to be with the Express Water Reverse Osmosis System, and we're starting right now. So you can see that's quite a bit slower, uh, hugely a result of this uh, quarter inch tubing instead of the 3 8 inch tubing that the uh, Water Saver 75 has. So stopping now. All right, so it took 13.82 seconds. And of course, another big difference in performance between the two is that the Hume is 75 gallons per day, whereas the uh, Express 
is 50 gallons per day. So again, the, uh, the Hume uh, makes water 50% faster. So why is it? Why does the Hume um, run the water to the, to the to fill the glass so much more quickly? It, it all comes down to the, the, the tubing, the tubing between the tank and the system and the faucet. With the Hume water care system, it has this larger 3 8 inch tubing and where the Express has the smaller quarter inch tubing that goes to those places. So obviously you can run a lot more water through a 3 8 inch tube than you can through a quarter inch tube more quickly and that's what gives you that performance advantage. When it comes to longevity, it's somewhat subjective. So I've done maintenance work and installation work on these systems for about 17 years now. And I've noticed a, a massive trend between reverse osmosis systems that are made in China or Korea versus reverse osmosis systems that are made in North America, like uh, the United States. So the Hume system is made in the United States, the Express is made in China. In fact, it was interesting trying to find out exactly where the Express system was made, because I, it didn't say anything on the box, it didn't say anything on, in the, the manual that came with the system. Nowhere did it say, nowhere on the system does it say that it's made in, in China. I actually had to contact the, the distributor in the, in the US to find out where it's made. They told me it was made in China, the uh, Hume uh, Water Saver 75 is made in the USA. And I found the difference between those two systems is the, the Express ones, they just don't last very long. In fact, they have about half the life expectancy of the, the made in North America ones. So the Express one, you're probably looking at about seven or eight years longevity. The Hume Water Saver 75, 15 to 20, no problem. So why do some reverse osmosis systems last longer than other ones? It's the build quality. It's, it's what's in the components. So every reverse osmosis system has a whole bunch of these, these fittings, these quick connect fittings, okay? So the one in my left hand is a John Guest fitting. The fitting itself is actually made in, uh, in England. And uh, this is the fitting that comes with the express systems, which of course are made in, in China. And I found that if you're gonna get a leak from a reverse osmosis system as it gets older, it's typically the fittings that start leaking. The John Guest ones last a long time and uh, they're, they're, they give fantastic performance. These ones, they don't. And, uh, and that, that's what makes up uh, the difference in build quality between the two units. And uh, so again, for build quality, Hume Water Saver 75 wins this round again. So when it comes to investment, the higher build quality and the uh, more efficient components in the Hume Water Saver 75 definitely makes it much more expensive. In fact, if you compare the two units um, with the, the, the same amount of filters and the leak stop and that are included, the Hume Water Saver 75 is $300 more expensive than the Express one. So winner round nine, definitely Express won that one. So which is the best reverse osmosis drinking water system for your family? Well, if you go with the Express system, you're gonna be flushing about 2,000 more gallons of water down the drain for a family of four. It's gonna take you twice as long to fill a glass or any other container, coffee, craft, etc. And it's gonna last half as long as with the Hume Water Saver 75. Which one is my, in my home? Well, I'm sure you've guessed it by now. The Hume uh, Water Saver 75 is definitely the one. To learn more about uh, reverse osmosis drinking water systems, just go to my next video up here, click there, and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, please add them down below.